Uh, the Steve Fund, uh, for which I serve as Senior Medical Director, is the nation's leading organization focused on the mental health and emotional well-being of young people of color from adolescence to emerging adulthood in the transitions from high school to college and into the workplace. Uh, our surveys have shown that young people of color report higher levels of isolation and lower levels of inclusiveness in their white peers, and often this can trigger depression and anxiety, um, yet they are less likely to seek help, which can threaten their academic as well as their occupational outcomes. Now, in the midst of the pandemic, um, the, the, the pandemic has really added on to some of the pre-existing disparities uh, that we see in young people of color. First of all, it has disproportionately uh, uh, wrought higher infection and death rates among communities of color, and this generated considerable trauma and loss uh, within our demographic. The economic crisis has wrought additional devastation and demoralization with high unemployment rates, housing and food insecurity, and students of color are more likely than their white counterparts to have to lighten their course load and to be uncertain about continuing their college education in the midst of this. There's also an educational crisis which affects mental health as well with remote learning, difficulties in accessing laptops, Wi-Fi, and broadband in some areas. This has created additional stress. Students of color are experiencing higher rates of depression and anxiety than white students uh, according to some surveys. They're less likely to view their professors as sources of support during the pandemic. And Asian students uh, have been targeted. They've been more likely to experience discrimination than any other group. And we know the connection between discrimination and its negative impact on mental health. Uh, students of color also experience some uh, disproportionately low percentages of paid in internships, which can increase anxiety as one is transitioning from college into the workplace. And then for those workplace environments that have not taken the opportunity to create a culture of belonging, um, uh, which ha have not created a, a, an environment of belonging or a culture of belonging, this really adds risk uh, to the mental health uh, burden on young people of color that's brought up um, brought about more so uh, by the pandemic and the racial injustice uh, as evidenced by the killing of uh, George Floyd and many other killings. These examples really illustrate some of the disparate mental health impacts of the pandemic and systemic injustice on the mental health of young people of color.